Hey, what's going on, you guys? Voice Swagger Boom here with another mukbang video. What's going on? How are ya? I was originally going to do a turkey pot pie video because the weather's been super brisk outside. It's been kind of cloudy. It's been turning into fall here in New York City. And I wanted something warm. I, I, it's, it's soup season and, and, and crock pot season and pot pie season. All the, all the pots. All the pot seasons, all right? And I, that's what I wanted. But today I woke up and had to do a couple errands, do some laundry, you know, this, that, and that. Be outside. We outside. And uh, it's sunny. It's nice out. And I walked around in a t-shirt. You know, this is like my favorite classic outfit is, is going to be like the, the, the New York fit, you know, the original dark blue, navy blue, whatever. New York Yankee fitted. I like the, the navy dark blue t-shirt with some black sweatpants and the butters. Timberland boots, if you don't know the butters. I want to get some uh, broccoli cheddar soon. <laughs> Beef and broccolis. Beef and broccolis. Uh, I want to get that style boot, Timberland. Um, if you don't know what that is, Google beef and broccoli Timberland boots. I'm learning the slangs. All right, guys. Anyways, long story short, this is the most New York video. Look at look at look at this. Chopped cheeses, some hood chips, and an Arizona iced tea. Which, by the way, the mango madness is the best one. Period. I don't care what you say. The mango madness is the best one. I like the classic, of course, but you know, and it's a dollar. It's always been a dollar since the '90s. And uh, a couple places hiked it up though to a buck twenty-five or a buck fifty. When it says a dollar on the can, wait, did they take the dollar thing off the can? Nope, boom, 99 cents. So, anyways, let's get this thumbnail and let's start getting into it. Wait, wait. I like, I like seeing Rocky in the background, like that. That's good. Look at these chips, though. Before I take a bite of that, look at these chips. Wrap Snacks Icon, Notorious B.I.G. Jalapeno Honey, or Jalapeno, yeah, Honey Jalapeno. What? I made a TikTok about this. And <laughs> I, I think I'm going to like this. This is, my, this is my country showing right now. Lil Bootsy, Louisiana Heat. What's going on? By the way, these are $7. So this is together makes one sandwich. $7, $7. I got two because I'm going to probably save a little bit for the wife. Maybe just do a little bit. All right? This is mine. But uh, let's put that right there. You know what? Let me move this. Move this. Okay. Let me unwrap this. New York chopped cheese with everything. Let's get into it. First bite. Mm. Mm. Try these chips. These B.I.G. Notorious B.I.G. <laughs> notorious Honey Jalapeno. Banging. Little Bootsy. Louisiana Heat. Oh, they're like rippled. They're like roofless. Mm. I'm going to keep it West Coast. <laughs> I'm going to keep it East Coast. The winner. Get all the bites. 
Let's get all the. Hmm. Yeah. Let's get all the bodega bites together. The hood chips, the chopped cheese, the Arizona. Mmm. So good. So, if you didn't know, the chopped cheese ain't nothing but burger meat chopped up with the cheese seasonings. They put sasson on it for a seasoning. Lettuce, tomato, onion, mayo, ketchup. On a hero. I used to get them on a roll. They're really good. The original ones were on a roll, but everybody just gets them on a hero now. So simple. So good. And the one right here on my block, 110th and 1st Ave, is the bodega that supposedly invented the chopped cheese. So you get it here first. Spanish Harlem, Ed Barrio, East Harlem, Manhattan. I am really looking forward to uh, the fall. It's just one of those things that like, we spent the summer here so far, been great. Went to the beach, hit the boardwalk, Coney Island, got a Nathan's hot dog, went to Central Park a bunch of times, enjoyed the city in the summer. Sweating my balls off. <laughs> now, starting to get brisk outside. Now it's becoming what New York is all about. New, fall in New York is gorgeous. And then Christmas in New York. If you haven't experienced Christmas in New York City, you got to do it at least once in your life. I'm sure everybody saw who follows me on TikTok and Instagram. Last Christmas, we were here. Had a really cute hotel room right in front of the Empire State Building on 34th, little um, Koreatown. And uh, we did all the Christmas stuff. Went to the Macy's uh, mall, checked out all the Christmas lights, Hudson Yards. Saw the Christmas tree in front of Rockefeller Center. And just, I really enjoyed that trip the most because the look in my wife, like the look in my wife's eyes um, I, I've been in New York. I, I've lived here before. I've, I've been here growing up during Christmas. It's still special, but it doesn't like hit 
you know? And seeing my wife, like, get, like, emotional during those moments was just, it, it was probably one of the most beautiful things I've seen. So, I don't know. Now that she's here, we got little outfits, we got our jackets. She wants to walk around. She's so cute. And you know, if you do come visit the city around that time, it's um, so easy traveling all over Manhattan when you go on the train. Everything's right there when you get on the train. We are trying to our next date night that we go on. We want to check out another Filipino restaurant. The last one we went to, I forgot what it was called, but no, not the last one we went to, but the one we wanted to go to originally, everybody was talking about it and everybody was saying up and down how great it was. So we were walking there, got to the spot, and they said they were closing. Now I guess they open up and then they close down in the middle of the day, and they open back up for dinner. We were right in that sweet spot in the middle where it was just about to close, so we missed it. And um, we went to a, our second choice, which was right down the street around the corner. And it just wasn't, a, it was like a fusion Filipino. I didn't realize it was fusion, and it was kind of bougie and it just didn't hit right. So if any Filipinos that have been to New York or live in New York, please comment down below. Let me know where to go. Please keep it here in the city, Manhattan. I don't wanna to go to Brooklyn. I don't wanna to go to Queens. Um, if I was gonna go anywhere, I would jump over to the Bronx just because the six is right there and it's closer. It's just more convenient. I don't want to go all the way like, you know. <laughs> and I know I should eventually. But you know how I am. I've always been a person of Oh, we are we're, we live here. Let's hit up everything around here first, and then branch out. Like when we were in Huntsville, Alabama, I wanted to go to all the spots in Huntsville, Alabama, before I started exploring Athens and Birmingham and all this stuff. Same thing with Nashville. I waited on Memphis, Atlanta, all this stuff. You know, did I? I just want to explore Manhattan for a while first before by the way guys I've gotten this a lot too Harlem is not a borough Harlem is a neighborhood the largest neighborhood in the borough of Manhattan. There's five boroughs, all right? I'm not gonna keep <laughs> going on that. Mm. Some people do it like that, sometimes you don't. Comment and subscribe, we'll see y'all in the next video. Sorry, I gotta go, peace.